Hey, it's Jim Ebert with Cancer Can Rot. Today we have Chris Stein doing his song, Pieces of Me. I hope you all enjoy it. Hey, Chris, how are you? I am doing fantastic, Jim. We did your song today. We did. It sounds pretty cool. It, it sounds awesome to me. I got to play with the coolest people. Well, yes, they are. They're. Um, I do it. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a. What do you call when you repeat yourself all the time? I have story Repetitive. Divers, so you're yeah, good. Okay. All right. So I, I just they're they're just nice people and great great players, better people. How's yeah. that? Yes. How's that? I 100 percent agree. Yep. Yep. So and we you did saw this. my son's reaction. Yeah. 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 So you brought your son in, yep. and he's been awesome all day. Yes, he has. You must be proud. I'm just super proud. Yeah. Super proud. Yeah. So uh, what type of cancer did you inherit? Um, well, it's, it's been a 22-year journey. Okay. And I've, I've been, um, I've had um, two different types, three different types of astrocytomas. Okay. Um, and for a total of four. I've got my fourth one right now that I'm working through. Okay. But 22 years, and I'm still here, so you, you are. I'm not complaining. Yep, good. Um, what's your prognosis right now, do you? Um, they will not they won't really. give me one. It's just because um, of the damage from the last round of treatments. Right. Uh, is, is affecting their ability to gauge, is it the cancer or is it the radiation damage? Right. You know, so it, 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 I hate to say it, but it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. And you carry on as best as you can. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. What's your song about today? So this this song I wrote, I, I saw in my notes back in 2004. So a couple of years after my first one, and um, I, I I wrote through my my journey of, of the initial surgery, um, which resulted in a stroke during the surgery and losing all ability to play guitar and remember anything. Um, so I gradually just started to pen. Was it music? Because I, I didn't remember how to play my guitar. Right. Yeah, and um, I just started writing through it. And this, this song, Pieces of Me, it just really kind of, it wasn't, it didn't come to me as a complicated song as some of my songs do. Uh, it was just everything you have going on is part of you. Yeah. It's a piece of you, even the, the, the crummy stuff. And so as I wrote that song and then added music and started to, to play it, I went and then I, and then I used it at some shows and it was well received. Right. Um, but I didn't come here today to do that song. Right. I was going to do another one. It was going to be safer and right. and um, it, but that was actually the perfect song. And then you and I had had texted back and forth and I sent you a couple of right. listen to and and that was the one you felt was right. a good fit as well. Yeah. Um, you know, but so so that song for me is it's it's who I am. Yeah, nice. the, all the good, bad, broken. It, 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 it's who it's who I am, and I'm and I get to sit here today with you. Well, so that makes the broke that redeems broken. I'm sorry parts. about that. Getting to sit here with you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm having a blast. I have a blast. Yeah, I'd be my facetious. family is here. I'm self-deprecating, always. And, and that's what draws me to you. Okay. How many times did, did I say self-deprecating things? Yeah, yeah. Rich finally had to come over and be like, knock it off. Right. <laughs> well, we've had a great time today, I right. think. Yeah, uh, we certainly have. Yeah, that's good. And you're from? Um, well, my wife and I grew up in New Jersey. Okay. Did a quick backstory. And uh, went to the same schools. Okay. Didn't know each other. Um, we, she had, she's a brain tumor survivor herself. We met co-hosting a brain tumor walk in Delaware. Wow! And found out, we, you know, all these things that we, we had in common. And, and uh, there you have it. Yeah. So th th there again, God redeemed that. I would not have been hosting that walk or playing at the walk had it not been for the fact that I, you know, I'd first gotten a brain tumor. Yeah. You know, so hey, I got a, I got a wife and a family out of, out of cancer. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, you did. You did okay. I did okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And and, and I get to hang out with you all. Well. So, um, okay. what's, what's, what are you, what are your um, detriments, would you say? Mm -hmm. I can tell you mine are memory, balance, uh, memory, balance, yeah, yeah. <laughs> memory, balance. Um, after this most recent one, I've had more balance issues, and, okay. and, and I had a significant fall a number of months ago. Um, but, but, yeah, memory, memories gotten worse though one of my friends uh, said to me actually hadn't seen me in like a month he's like I think your memory is getting better <laughs> and I'm like cool right um, and, and um, 
the, the radiation damage uh, created what's known as Parkinsonism. So I have bits and pieces of different disease processes under that. The, the Parkinson's disease, which is under there, is, is the tremor and the shaking and such. Right. Um, Do they see that relieving, or you don't don't know? It's progressive, and they and, and it's because it's uh, damage versus Parkinson's disease. You know, having a dopamine right. issue, it's untreatable. It's progressive, okay. and there's Yep. You know, but hey, it's it's one more thing. Yep. You you you're still working. Yep. You're still, you know, and what fact, do you do? I, I'm a hospice educator. Okay. Um. So the the fact that that I'm working in healthcare, um, while I'm in treatment actively for a, a, a terminal illness, um, you know, it, it, it's that's all fixed it. perfectly. My, my my doctors that I see. You know, we talk differently. I've had executive directors of facilities open up to me about their cancer, their active cancer. Um, that wouldn't have happened had I not, you know, and I obviously I had some visible, right. you know, things that can open doorways to conversations. But, um, and then and then my ability to speak with patients and their families, that's part of my role is to educate them. Here's what hospice means for right. you. A lot of people think hospice is just, well, they're going to go there and die. And it sounds like you're doing good stuff. Yeah, so you know, God's using it. I, I'm i with you. Um, well, I've had a pleasure today. So I, I hope that you have liked the song. And I hope you like the song yeah. after I mix it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I love it right now. Okay. Um, it, it was just amazing to you. And, you. and you came up with different things that I hadn't even really thought about in terms of you know, it, it, where, where openings might be, where the guitar may like backing tracks and things. Well, well, not tracks. That's the fun part. But I mean, like... I've tried to produce a song of mine now three times, and it wasn't until the third time I just backed up and just sort of let it occur. Okay. Because the first two times, it just, I kept listening to it, and that's not quite there. You know, and I tried to sing it or at home, but I knew I couldn't. And Eric, who was playing bass today, he right. sang it. And, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's an interesting song. I'll, I'll send it to you. Cool. Anyway, thank like you that. for coming in today. Thank you for having me. What an honor. All right, brother. You be well. Thank you. You as well. <laughs>